weeks. So how much can you actually grow? Remember in the studies that we talked about in one of the other videos, it was a study, I think it was conducted over 28 weeks or something. So we are not even closing into the amount of time that this. What is up guys and welcome back. So as some of you might already have noticed, I haven't really been able to post recently and I did even miss one of the vlog updates I promised you guys to do. So I want to be completely honest and here's the deal. One week ago I got accepted into a university where I really want to attend for my future architecture and management projects and education. And one of the conditions that they gave me for accepting me is that I have about 21 days left to provide them with a very significant architectural project that is going to convince them that I can go to their university and study my architecture over there. So honestly guys, that is why I haven't been as active on YouTube as I promised I would be. And honestly, the next couple of weeks, three weeks left, I won't be as active either. So that is the reason why I haven't been able to upload as many videos as I used to do. Keep in mind guys, I hope you can bear with me because I will get back on schedule as soon as I hopefully has been accepted into the university. But aside from all my personal crying, well, today we have three topics we are gonna go through. The first one being my personal current protocol, what I'm using at this time and how long I'm using and in what intervals and so on. The next one being some information on the K and B slash the water and pyrolutamide solution, whether it will stay in suspension or not. And lastly, we are going to take a look at my progression with pyrolutamide. Keep in mind, this is only week three, so don't expect anything crazy to happen, but I will go over whether I noticed less or more side effects or anything different or something entirely new. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. So first off, as promised, I will explain what I'm currently doing to stop my hair loss and even reverse it. Keep in mind, this isn't the optimal way of doing things. This is what works for me at the given time with the time limits I have and my current lifestyle. I am working on a video that is going to be called something like 2023 Ultimate Hair Loss Guide, where I will summarize everything in there and I will make the perfect hair loss reversal guide in there in my opinion but this is what i'm currently doing and this is the most important steps i think you should take if you are suffering from hair loss and if your conditions matches mine which they usually don't do so keep in mind this is just for entertainment and nothing else so at this moment my hair loss protocol is actually fairly simple i skipped out all of the minoxidil i skipped out all of the redensil and all of the weird experimental stuff that i was doing mainly because i don't have so much time also but i wanted to focus on the pyrolutamide so what i'm doing at the moment is every night before i go to bed i add one milliliter of pyrolutamide in a knb solution to my scalp I then use this massage tool that I found. I'm going to post a link down below if you want to see where I got it. It is actually made for ketoconan soul and it's a tool that is used to scrape out all the dandruff and then get some of the ketoconan soul very deep into the scalp to rinse it out and clear all the dandruff. But I figured it works very well when I apply some of my pyrolutamide solution to my scalp that I actually just take the tool and just rub it in my scalp very good. <laughs> this makes it able to penetrate some of the dead skin cells and get into the living tissue faster that way. So that is what I do every night before bedtime. Then usually around the same time I take one milligrams of finasteride. I do this mostly every day. The pyrolutamide I actually only do Monday to Friday. Usually in the weekend, I take the weekend off. So if I'm out, I don't really want to stress around and try to remember my pyrolutamide. If I sleep somewhere else, I don't want to bring my pyrolutamide and my ketoconazole soul massage unit. So I honestly just keep it to Monday through Friday. And in this way, I can just keep it in my daily work schedule. Next thing I do, I try to do this on a weekly basis, but that is microneedling. Usually as things are now, I haven't even done it for three weeks now and I'm really stressed out. So I try and do it on a weekly basis, but 
Usually, sometimes it's bi-weekly or even further apart, but at least once a week, I try to get a microneedling session in there. And I will even increase it and have two microneedling sessions a week if I have been skipping them in the other weeks. But that is mainly how things are at the moment. And honestly, guys, that is more or less everything I do at this given time. I'm still using the anti halo shampoo, but that is not something I specifically do or change anything like that. That is something I encourage everyone to use. Get some caffeine, some zinc, some B12 in there. As I told you guys, this is a reduced version. These are the main steps I think everyone should take, except for the finasteride. Finasteride you shouldn't touch unless you are on some kind of testosterone replacement therapy. And I will explain why I think that in another video. But that is more or less summarized what I do to just try and keep my hair on my scalp for the time coming. And I hope to see some improvements from the pyrolutamide instead of using IU58841. As I have explained in another video, pyrolutamide is about four times as strong as IU58841. That is why I'm skipping all the other things to see if it can hold its ground on its own. Next thing is the pyrolutamide slash water discussion that we are having. So in these vlogs, I don't really explain things in detail. I am going to make a video on this subject where I explain the conditions and why people are scared of water and pyrolutamide. But what I can give you guys today is that as you know, I'm using the KNB solution from Anagenic myself. And I stay in contact with the staff from Anagenic when I have questions for them and I ask how things are going, if they're gonna get some new things on the shelf at the e-store or anything like that. And recently I actually got an email from them saying that they are currently about to test the KX826 AKA the pyrolutamide and the KNB solution to see how stable it actually will become when suspended in, in the KNB solution. The basic knowledge I have in chemistry makes me believe that this isn't that issue, but if you're worried about that stuff, I can tell you as soon as Anagenic has the results from their KNB slash pyrolutamide solution test, stability test, whatever you call it, I will post them on my channel and I will explain to you what they mean. So in this way, you are going to get a third party lab test from another company than Anagenic with their products where they will tell you in complete honesty if pyrolutamide in the KNB solution is going to be stable or not. And lastly, of course, today we are going to talk about my progress on pyrolutamide and how things are going so far. First off, let's just start with the progress photos. So up here, what we have is the progress photos I took at the start of this vlogging. And over here, I'm gonna post the current pictures that you see. So honestly, I don't really see any kind of difference, but that is to be expected because it is three weeks. So how much can you actually grow? Remember in the studies that we talked about in one of the other videos, it was a study, I think it was conducted over 28 weeks or something. So we are not even closing into the amount of time that the scientists spent on regrowing that hair in that time frame. What I can say is that after I stopped using the minoxidil and I switched over to pyrolutamide, even though pyrolutamide is said to be a little harsh on the scalp, I don't really get any kind of dandruff anymore. I don't know if it's the KNB solution or if it's the pyrolutamide, but at this point, I don't get any side effects. I don't get any face swellings. I don't get any dandruff anymore. I used to have so bad dandruff that I actually had to clear my scalp regularly with either a comb or something. I just really had to scratch it out and get all the dandruff out and then I was good for about four or five days and I could start all over again. I don't have that problem anymore. Also, when I'm using the KNB solution, I can actually, as I said before, use it 10 minutes before bedtime because it doesn't contain any sticky oils. So I don't really grease my pillow anymore and I don't really grease the pyrolutamide everywhere around and if someone touches my hair, it isn't going to get in their fingers or anything. It is fairly safe to use the KNB solution. It is going to be absorbed so fast that I was actually surprised myself, but I'm very happily surprised and I'm going to keep on using it until I see anything negative in the stability test. So guys, that is everything I have for you today. I hope that you can bear over with me for the next couple of weeks while I'm doing my project for the university where I'm going to attend. And guys, until then, I hope I see you in the next video. Cheers.